And it's not just enormous military gadgets that they're spending on. There's the military is spending money on as Obama announces this drawdown of troops. A massive buildup is in the works. Thousands of U.S. troops now gearing up to go to Israel. The military is calling it an exercise, not a deployment. But this is one serious exercise. This, as Israel says, they're ready to go to war with Iran. So what's really going on here? Jamal Abdi is in studio to dig deeper into this. Welcome, Jamal. Um, so the U.S. is tightening ties with Israel. Um, what, what is happening? Uh, well, what is happening on its face is that the U.S. is working to reassure Israel, working to, Isra uh, to reassure Saudi Arabia and the you know, Gulf states that uh, we're, we have their backs, that we have this security blanket uh, in the region, and that they don't have to worry about uh, Iran as a threat. Um, but, you know, as we can see, we're getting closer and closer to war with Iran. Um, anybody who argues that this, you know, kind of extraordinary confluence event, of events, the uh, planned exercises by the U.S. and Israel, the exercises that Iran was doing in the, in the Persian Gulf, anybody that argues that those aren't sort of a, part of a lead-up to eventual military confrontation, I think is, is probably running out of arguments at this point. And the reason that this is happening is that this is the logical conclusion of our current strategy against Iran. We have sanctions in place with no diplomacy. The only way that that ends is through confrontation. Um, they are calling this uh, particular um, buildup a deployment, uh, an exercise, mm -hmm. and not a deployment. But um, is there more to it? Well, um, this is something that has been planned for quite a while now. It's not the first time that this sort of exercise has been done with Israel. But what is being planned is actually, you know, back in September, the U.S. actually uh, provided Israel with an advanced radar and for the first time actually deployed, uh, permanently deployed U.S. troops to Israel. Uh, that was a small contingent, though, of a couple hundred troops. What we see now, though, is this much larger exercise, uh, not unprecedented, uh, but definitely something that is going to have an impact right now as we see this sort of tit for tat in, in confrontation between the U.S. and Iran. So we are seeing a lot in that region, um, as you just mentioned, uh, this permanent presence and now these, um, this massive military exercise. Yeah, and this is, I mean, this is to set up, th th this is for a contingency plan, but I would argue that this is a contingency plan that we're going to see enacted um, if, if we don't find a way to change course. Uh, the idea is that were there to be a, uh, a, a massive war in the Middle East, presumably with Iran, that we would be ready to have a uh, set up command within Israel and actually have Israel uh, set up a command center uh, in, in Europe at the U.S. Uh, European Command. And Israel at this point seems both ready and willing to go to war with Iran. So um, if they do, I mean, will the U.S. automatically join them? Well, that's the funny thing. Uh, some have said that the Obama administration believes that it could distance itself from an Israeli strike on Iran. And there have been these sort of public uh, leaks in which U.S. officials have said Israel wouldn't notify us until jets were uh, scrambled and in the air before they struck Iran. But that being said, given that we're doing this massive military exercise, given that the U.S. has actually, you know, under Obama in 2009, actually provided Israel with these bunker busters that presumably would be used against Iranian nuclear facilities, I think it's going to be very difficult to not... Uh, be implicated, for the U.S. not to be implicated in an Israeli strike on Iran. And so I don't see a scenario in which this happens and we are not uh, forced into some sort of all-out war. Uh, so you're Iran. saying the likelihood is if Israel goes, the U.S. will go? Absolutely. And that's, that's I mean, Iran, Iranian officials have said this. They're going to consider any strike by Israel a strike by the United States. Now, this huge buildup is happening as um, President Obama just today announced that there's supposed to be this big um, reduction in military spending. And in order to do that, he's, he's bringing the troops home from Iraq, from Afghanistan. But now we're seeing this um, possible military conflict with Iran. So is it possible that this isn't really much of a, a drawdown or a shrinking of military, but just a redirecting of resources? Well. You'll recall that under Bush, we didn't consider the Iraq or Afghanistan wars as military spending. They were a separate budget item. And I would argue that you can't actually uh, reduce military spending unless we actually have a, a strategic realignment that puts more of a focus on diplomacy. 
We can't continue the policies of the Bush administration and of previous administrations when it comes to Iran, policies that can only end in military confrontation. Uh, if we don't change those, we're going to end up spending the money that previous administrations would have spent on a war. We're, we're, we're locked into this trajectory. Um, and uh, one, one um, method that the U.S. is using are these sanctions, but some argue that these sanctions are in themselves an act of war. Well, Iran has said that they would consider uh, sanctions on their oil exports and sanctions on their central bank an act of war. Um, I think it could be reasonably argued that the covert, uh, you know, the covert attacks within Iran um, and frankly, some of the things that Iran does could all be considered acts of war and that there is a cold war going on. There's also an economic war going on uh, against Iran. Uh, so I think that we do have a low-scale war right now, and the question is, does that actually uh, escalate out of control into a full-scale war? And I, I'll say that, you know, what's happening now with Iran, people are calling it desperation. They're saying that what's happening is actually a sign that the sanctions are working. But I think that begs the question, what are the sanctions intended to do? If they're working to bring us closer to war, then absolutely they are working. But I don't think that that's the policy or the, the objective that the American people want to see with this. Well, um, it's said that the sanctions are supposed to prevent us from going to war, but it seems like that's not really what they are accomplishing. Um, in the wake of all these events, um, of all the turmoil in the region, um, is, is, Iran, is war with Iran at this point unavoidable? It is avoidable. The question is, will we avoid it? Uh, it was announced today, uh, you know, Turkey is working to uh, broker these talks between the P5 plus one and Iran. If there's a serious investment in diplomacy, we may be able to, uh, to, to get ourselves out of this game of chicken that we've locked ourselves in with, in which we're either going to go to war or somebody backs off. Uh, but, you know, given the political situation, given elections coming up in Iran and the United States, it's going to take real political courage to, to figure out how do we do diplomacy? How do we take that off-ramp? And until that happens, I think that uh, it, it will be inevitable. Jamal, thank you for weighing in on this. That was Jamal Abdi, the policy director for the National Iranian American Council.